Hello YouTube, it's your friendly neighborhood Tim Janier and today we are doing a quick review of Star Wars Rogue One. Just a quick side note, if you don't want to hear spoilers about this movie, click out now. I will wait. No, no, seriously, I'll wait. You can go watch the movie and then you can come back and, and I'll, I'll be right here. Anyway, uh, so this movie is actually kind of interesting because it didn't have the opening crawl. And I think the reason for that is because this is the opening crawl. This is literally just going through and explaining episode four. So uh, that's also where it falls in the Star Wars universe is it's right in between episode three and episode four. It acts as a kind of in-between so that you're not missing out on any of the story that you need. The style that they chose to go with was closer matched to episode four. And uh, interesting point, um, if you watch the video or the, the movie, it's actually closer to episode four than episode three. In fact, spoiler alert, it happens just before uh, Princess Leia gets picked up by Darth Vader. The style that they went with was to match episode four, and they did it so well. Uh, the video, the movie, was uh, actually kind of grungy in a way. Uh, when you watch it, it seemed to just kind of flow and I think they did that uh, specifically because episode one, two, and three, they, they kind of made it more uh, regal. Everything was cleaner. But we really got that grunge back in Rogue One that we will have in episode four. So it really just kind of acts as a nice little, you know, swooping merger. This movie does something that for the longest time I thought was impossible. It actually answered a lot of questions. Uh, as a Star Wars nerd, there has always been a looming problem with episode four. And that was the Death Star weakness. One exhaust port on the Death Star and it just happened to be centrally located. And if you hit that just right, you'll send, set off a chain reaction that will blow up the Death Star. Why? How on earth did the Star War, the, the Death Star engineers miss it? And it answers it in this movie. Uh, just like in uh, <gasps> World War II. Uh, there is an engineer who just decides I'm not going to go with it. I'm not going to say anymore because I don't want to ruin it completely, but it answers the question finally. And I'd have to say this movie does everything phenomenally. It re-emphasizes why I love Star Wars. So, uh, that's it for now. Let me go ahead and say thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe. Uh, there's going to be a subscribe button right here. Um, I'm also going to place my next YouTube video right here, uh, conveniently located. Um, yeah, please hit subscribe. Please like the video if you liked it. If you don't like it, uh, please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you don't like about it. So that way I know what to fix. Um, and please share these videos. Uh, we're trying to build up the, the Tim Janeering community and you're a part of that. Uh, and don't forget, uh, last reminder, we do have the contest for the banner. Uh, please get your submissions in by the 30th of this month, December. Um, and we will announce the winner on the first video of the new year. So uh, that's kind of exciting. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.